know your tuition is going to be increased by $150 every semester. I'm taking out loans that I can afford to go here, so I can afford to have my apartment and afford to live in New York City. I just want you guys to know that when my grandparents and my mom and my aunt and my uncle went to CUNY, it was free. They all went to school here for free. Not much has changed since then, but I am the first person in my generation of families to attend a CUNY school and actually have to worry about student loans and student debt. Things like that, we're starting to realize what the fuck are they doing with our money? people have had to decide whether they should call in sick to work or write the paper due the next day. This is something real. This is something you could ask any student in the hallway. It'd be very easy to find someone who's in this situation. I wanted to continue my education and get out of poverty because I actually live in the New York City Housing Authority. I'm a resident of Ravenswood Houses. And um, I live with my mom. She has she never graduated from high school and she worked years as a home health care worker. Unfortunately, all her hard years of labor took a toll on her body and now she's disabled. What can we say of the American dream if all of these students here have to drop out because they can't afford to go here anymore? So we, we are learning things in our classroom. Why aren't we doing anything with our knowledge? Otherwise, it'll just be forgotten. And, and the whole point of learning is to do something like that. We are not the first group of students who have wanted to change things, and we won't be the first group of students to actually make those changes, and I don't think we'll be the last. They, they're maintaining the status quo of uh, people being silent. And as far as I'm concerned, silence is acceptance, and I'm not going to accept what's going on. Once we unite, we're unstoppable.